All right, let's go to Alberta for an update on the wildfire situation. Let's listen in. And, and then whatever else in terms of services that you Sure. So we did have a, some essential services that uh, were temporarily uh, open yesterday. And as today, um, we had the ER emergency room open at 7.30 a.m., but they're limited. The dialysis laboratory, things like that, will be coming in the next couple days. Uh, all of our businesses um, are open today. Those that have made it back from uh, being evacuated, they're open. They're limited hours. Our uh, supplies are limited. So we're asking people before they come to the community just to ensure that you have drinks drinking water, a uh, full tank of gas and groceries, things like that. What's the situation with um, services like gas? I understand like water, power, all good, but gas, we're still over. Um, I'm not sure if I can exactly speak to that. I know that when I did get home, I had a little card on my door from TELUS saying that the services looked good. Uh, and there was uh, messaging going out that ATCO was checking these types of things too. And if you smelt gas and things like that, to please call. In terms of businesses, are you hearing from businesses about lost inventory and, uh, you know, and overall them being gone for so long and what it's going to take for them to get back? Yeah, no, unfortunately, I haven't heard any of that. I know that we have um, garbage bins that are throughout the community right now for waste that we can put uh, businesses like grocery stores and things like that. You can be putting your waste in there. We have free tipping days for residents that were affected by this um, at our landfill if you're having to discard of items in your fridge and things like that. And I'm sure as the, day, as the days progress, we'll start to get more information about that. Um, so um, that would probably come from the incident command. I'm not sure if you'd like to speak to that or answer that. Okay, okay sure. sure. So kind of like a lot of decisions for keeping people out, it's all about safety, right? Um, we decided uh, to go with that, you know, short-term notice. As everybody knows, as soon as the word gets out there, people will try to jump the gun and everything. So we wanted to make sure it was at the point where we were comfortable before we even talked about it out in public. And then, uh, as we predicted, there's some some earlier jumpers, and uh, but then everybody was allowed to come in. So. In the hot spot. So the retirement residents, I'm hearing that they'll be starting to come back uh, Thursday and Friday, as well as the patients from the hospital. We're wanting to make sure that we have those core essentials here, uh, things like access to the hospital, and that our facilities are up and running to the best that they can to have these residents back in. A sigh of relief in, in one sense, uh, uh, worrying again for the residents that lost their homes, how that must be an overwhelming amount of emotion coming in. I think a lot of emotion. There was a lot of people that were messaging, calling, you know, nonstop saying, you know, when can we get back? When can we get back? So I think everybody was just on pins and needles awaiting that. And uh, so, yeah, just a lot of emotion, just happy to be home and happy to be, you know, supporting one another and just pulling together like we always do. Um, maybe I will ask our staff sergeant to answer that. Good afternoon. I'm Staff Sergeant Troy Raditz with the RCMP, uh, posted here in Drayton Valley. Uh, to answer the question regarding the looting, I know there was lots of uh, word spread through social media of widespread looting in that. I can assure you there was not widespread looting. There has been some break and enters. There has been several people arrested and a few more uh, charges pending. But no, and the, unequivocally, there has not been widespread looting throughout. Yes, it's Troy, T R O Y, Raditz, R A D D A T Z. Thank you. Can we talk about that, that, that they could have to re-evacuate? Okay, 
It, it's it's again it always goes back to safety of our residents um life safety is number one number one priority always um Conditions can change, uh, things like that. Right now, with the current weather conditions predicted and the crews we have currently working on this fire, we are confident that it's being held. But, you know, fire is a life of its own. You never know um, what's going to change. So never hurts to be ready anyway. We encourage people to have that 72-hour kit on an average day, let alone when an incident happens. So just have that plan and be ready in, in case in the coming days something major changes that we weren't predicting. Uh, absolutely um amazing help we had uh you know a lot of crews on the ground working um these types of fires at this stage that's what they take is boots on the ground hard working people in the trees trying to make it safe for everyone right so they're they're digging they're cutting down trees getting all those danger pieces out um they're working with our wildfire crews and our, our local fire departments to to you know clear that 100 feet around properties so that we can get people back into the um, evacuated zone and uh, you know finding hot spots and all that as they work through so they're a huge help they've been greatly appreciated and i hope we have them for a few more days yet because then we'll keep on track with our goals we have set um, but amazing they're hard workers they are loving the learning opportunity they're having and we're greatly appreciative they're here Um, I don't have an exact number of how many... All right, we're just listening to officials in Drayton Valley, Alberta, where about 7,000 people from the community who were asked about two weeks ago to evacuate because of the wildfires are now preparing to return home. As they come home, officials saying, be prepared with supplies like drinking water, gasoline, and make sure that you're on alert for any um, natural gas smell as well in case there are leaks. Uh, re retirement residents, it uh, looks like they will, be, they will be able to return Thursday and Friday, as well as increased access to the hospital starting Thursday, Friday. Um, the RCMP is quashing rumors as well that there was widespread looting that was going on while residents were away for those two weeks. Uh, RCMP saying that uh, there were, were some break and enters, but nothing widespread, so trying to um, get really handle get a handle on those rumors and there are also the officials are encouraging people to still have a 72 hour evacuation kit at the ready because conditions can still change of course there are 92 active wildfires in alberta 27 of them are still considered out of control but today we're just seeing uh, people returning to drayton valley in alberta more to come here on ctv news